Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to delve into a hotly debated topic. Because it's debated for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It's a question that pops up a lot. And when people try to answer it, and I think this is the reason it ends up getting debated, they uh, try to answer it by talking about campaign strategies. And abstract things like that. However, it's a historical thing. So, rather than do it that way, let's just use a timeline. Then we can see whether or not it happened and why it happened. And then we can talk about some of the other stuff. The question is, how did the party of Lincoln become the party of Trump? Did the Republican Party and the Democratic Party switch places, at least on some issues? So, rather than talking about the abstract, let's do a timeline. Did it happen? Look at the electoral votes for 1960, for the presidential election in 1960. Look at all those blue states in the South. Crazy. That's something you wouldn't expect to see. All right. And you can go back a few elections and see that that trend holds. All right. Now look at 1964. They're red. So, yes, it happened. How and why? What was going on in those states between 60 and 64? The Civil Rights Movement. Okay, fair enough. That's correlation, though. And one of the things we talk about on this channel a lot is that correlation does not equal causation. So we need to go a little bit further. Who were the Democratic candidates for the primary for president in 64? Two main ones, Johnson and Wallace. Yeah, that Wallace. <laughs> Ardent segreg segregationist. And he lost. He lost. He lost to the guy who signed the Civil Rights Act in 1964. Okay. So that shows that the Democratic Party rejected at least that form of racism. Segregation is bad. All right. What about the Republicans? Who'd they run? Goldwater, who voted against the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and campaigned on states' rights. It shows where the switch occurred and why. And that's good. It's pretty clear there. But we need to be ironclad on this. Right? I mean, this is a pretty heavy accusation saying that the Republican Party intentionally altered their platform to go after the racist vote. We need to show that that's really kind of the only reason that uh, the South would stop voting Democrat. How are we going to show that? Pull up the Electoral College, the votes for uh, 1948. Weird. The South didn't vote blue. Didn't vote red either. Who to vote for? Strom Thurmond, a segregationist under third party, the Dixiecrats. Yeah, that's why it happened. That's how it happened. It's real clear. It's history. It's not something you can really debate. That's how the party of Lincoln turned into the party of Trump. That's why the Republican Party gets seen as the party of racists. They altered their campaign strategy and platform to help them. When you go out of your way to include them, that's how you get that reputation. Sorry. I would suggest that maybe it's time for people to stop worrying about their party and start worrying more about being a good person. A lot of Republicans that I know, they make excuses for their party's platform. When it comes to the tangible, to the real, to the things they see themselves. A good example is welfare, food stamps, stuff like that, right? You talk to a Republican in abstract terms and you hear stuff like a welfare queen and, and stuff like that. You talk to them about somebody that they know. Well, that person needs help because contrary to a lot of imagery. Republicans, the average Republican voter, isn't evil. They understand that sometimes people need help, but they have that image from that platform. 
when you talk to them about individuals and you talk to them about people rather than groups, a lot of the things the Republican Party opposes, they're actually for. And then you conduct this little experiment. The people that they uh, think are okay and just need a little help, they're struggling. Do they always look like them? A lot of times it's true. And the image they have of the welfare queen, well, they don't look like them. And then you go back to how it originated, what this topic is really about. Why is the Republican Party seen as the party of racists? Because a lot of times, their rhetoric, their policies, and the way they try to move those policies forward is racist. It, there's no big mystery here. The average Republican may not be racist. But they kind of decided it wasn't a deal breaker for them. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.